Hey lovelies, thanks for stopping in. I am going to be doing a little hair tutorial this evening. I figured I would give you a full on little tutorial step by step on what I do to curl my hair. I am going to be curling it with my brand new T3. This is the single pass um, curling iron in the one inch. It is the pink with the rose gold trimmings. It's so, so pretty. I absolutely love it. I also, right now I do have it all the way up. Um, I probably could take it down a notch, which I'm going to do. So by changing the notches, all you do is like turn the bottom here and it clicks over. So I usually have it on the fourth setting. I just feel like Third is probably hot enough. I just have to hold it on my hair the longer. So I do the fourth one where I don't have to hold it on there as long. Um, I just don't want to, you need to be careful. You don't want to fry your hair. So that's why you don't want to go too extremely hot, especially if you have finer hair like myself, then um, yeah, you definitely don't need it extremely hot. So before I get into doing any of this, if you're new here, thank you for stepping in. I'm Laura, welcome, and I am a style and beauty influencer. I love sharing just my personal style and my like go-to beauty products, makeup looks, hair things, just all of the above. I also am a crazy Disney girl. Like I love the parks. It's so, so fun. It's been a part of my life forever. So if you are new and those things seem to spark your interest, then you're going to want to hit subscribe and you'll want to hit the bell because that's going to keep you notified then every time I upload a video. Also getting into this, I'm not using pretty much any product right now. I'm just going to curl my hair for you, but I'll have the curling iron link below. If you shop that, I do make commission, but it's always so greatly appreciated. So let's get to curling the hair then. So first up, I'm just going to brush out my hair because just in general, like you want to make sure that it's nice, silky and smooth and there's no like knots in there. Next up, I am parting my hair. My part, my natural part is over my left eye. My hair doesn't really like to cooperate if I try to part it any other direction. And I'm just using a wet brush. I got this one specifically off of Amazon, but it's really fun because it's like that metallic pink and it has like wet little dots on it. I just split my hair into two sides, half and half. And then I'm gonna start from the back here. I don't, I don't get that fancy. I don't do layers um, from bottom to top. I just split in half. And then I start, I just piece out little bitty sections. I'm gonna take the clamp now, and basically I'm putting the clamp on the front side of the hair, and I'm going to roll the curling iron towards the back. I don't take the curling iron all the way down to the end first. I take it about midway, and then I'll start to wrap the hair just because I feel like that also is able to bring the curl a little bit higher up towards the root. Try to catch it and I just kind of hold it up a little bit for about like three to five seconds. It just helps like that heat lock in. barrel nice and slow that also helps in case you do get a crease from the clamp it helps to smooth that out and remove it and then it also really helps with your hair not falling out that's wrapped around soft little spirals and they're all curling away from the face. I miss those 
Now, when I'm getting to the very front portion of my right side, because that's like the thicker side that hangs over the front portion of my face, I'm gonna try to take my roots on that upward angle, just cause I feel like it helps give it more of a like lift to the very top portion of my roots. See how it kind of like lets it do that little swoosh over that aerial curl. To turn this bad boy off, all you do is hold it over to the side and then all the lights will like just trickle back and then it's turned off. It does have a auto shut off. I think it's after an hour in case you did forget. The curls then on this side are all nice and smooth and they go away from the face. I'm just gonna keep it more natural, like a soft curl. I go about this two different ways sometimes, depending on like the type of curl I want. To try to leave it a little bit more on the curly side, I'll either just take my fingers and I'll kind of like shake through the hair, which is what I'm going to do tonight for you. Or if I want it to be more of a smooth wave, I would honestly just go through it with my brush. Maybe I'll show you both. This is just after shaking it out. You can definitely see that it has more of a like defined curl to it because when you brush it out, that's gonna take some of that out and make it more smooth looking, which is really pretty. And I'll do it for you here now as well. Take your brush and you don't have to brush hard or anything like that. Honestly, just go through it super smooth. And then I'll just take it and kind of like wrap it in that same direction of the curl. But like notice the difference from this side then and then this side where it looks like a little more tousled and this just looks more like old Hollywood glam. So either way, it's going to give you a nice, soft, more natural curl. I honestly do this a little bit more often just because my hair is so fine. I feel like sometimes when I just like do the tousle, it can get a little ratty, especially if it is a windy day. I just like that smooth, sleek style. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, you can hit the button right there in the center. Also the bell down below, like I said earlier, that'll keep you notified every single time I upload a video. If you wanna see some more things from me, check those videos out right there on the side. And until next time, I will see you lovelies later.